Hello and welcome back to Warriors HQ. It's been a quiet week here at Scotston since our 9-3 victory over the Ospreys, but it was a crucial four points in our Guinness Pro 14 campaign. Since then, Gregor Townsend has named his 23-man squad to face Italy in the Guinness Six Nations opener at BT Murrayfield tomorrow. Eight Warriors have been selected, including a debut for Sam Johnson at inside centre, so a massive good luck to all the Warriors involved. This side of the M8, Scotland women have made Scots in their home for their Six Nations campaign. They play Italy tonight and then Ireland next Friday and tickets for both of those games are available right now at scottishrugby.org. Earlier in the week we caught up with fullback Chloe Rowley and centre Hannah Smith to preview the game. Yeah, we're really fo uh, looking forward to this season just with um, the squad we've got and how we've um, performed over the last couple of games against Canada. And yeah, really looking to like uh, just work to our new structure and stuff like that, and see how it all goes. Yeah, we're all excited and ready to go. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited. Um, obviously, wasn't involved in November, so um, you know, it was quite hard watching from the sidelines. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to be back. It, it was good in um, against Canada because I could kind of I was part of the crowd, and it was really good to feel how much everybody was behind the girls. And obviously, it was a brilliant game to watch. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not easy being on the sideline. How happy were you with that Canada game and the performance? It was uh, disappointing to lose, but you must have taken a lot of positives from it. Um, yeah, obviously the loss was hard to take because we were so close. But then again, we need to look at the fact that they were top four uh, in the world, the world rankings. Um, but yeah, I think the performance we put in was amazing. And um, to to come away with that was definitely lifted our, lift our um, spirits and kind of showed us what uh, if we believe in ourselves, what we can do. You've had a lot more warm-up games going into the Six Nations this year. How much has that helped? Yeah, it's a great help. You know, like, as I said, we've, with our structure this year, it's definitely been able, like, we've been able to work on that and get used to it and everybody to understand their roles and know exactly what they're doing. So it's worked for us um, as an advantage, really, yeah. In terms of Italy, what are you expecting from them on Friday night? Yeah, I mean we've we've done a lot of analysis on their game and their you know their defensive strategy and stuff. Um, and obviously we know that they've got some really quick girls in attack as well. Um, but we're just hoping that we can bring bring our best game and, and do some damage. Are you playing a real really attractive style of rugby now? You must be enjoying that. Yeah, no, it's fun. Yeah, um, obviously focusing quite a lot on getting the ball wide and into the wide channels, which is like where where I quite like to play. So yeah, it's good. And are you looking forward to being back here at Scotson in front of a noisy crowd? Yeah, well, it's, it's always what we look forward to when we're here. Um, you know, we always, there's such a buzz when we know we're going to be at Scotston and to have the crowd behind us as well, it, with, with their buzz, definitely lifts us up and pushes us like every, every second of the game. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, it's such a good facility. Um, and, you know, I'm here almost every week watching the Warriors anyway, so it's just like, it's really nice to sort of be in a place that you're so familiar with. And on this week's episode of Warriors Weekly, I catch up with Scotland women head coach Shade Munro to discuss those fixtures. Earlier today, we launched this season's SP Energy Network's Warriors Championship at Whiteley Wind Farm. While we were there, we caught up with Warrior Lee Jones and SP Energy Network CEO Frank Mitchell to preview the championship. Frank, how excited are you that the SP Energy Network's Warriors Championship kicks off again next week? Well, we're really excited. We're delighted again to be partnering with the Glasgow Warriors for the Schools Championship. 25 schools from across the west of Scotland. Just fantastic for boys and girls to keep active and keep fit and see how sport can help them as well as contributing to what we do in the community. So we're really excited and looking forward to a great championship. Yeah, it was good to see a representation of them today. I think they were a bit cold um, up here. It's pretty, pretty fresh, but um, lovely spot. And um, yeah, it's good to see just the kind of the buzz around schools rugby and and the way we've got it going with SP Energy Networks at, at Scotston. Um, to see those games out in the back pitches, um, you know, the kids really enjoy it, and it's good to see them being competitive. Um, I think it's just great to see them enjoying rugby. How pleased were you with the success of last year's championship? Well, I thought well, I came down and seen the excitement from the kids. The energy was really tangible and there on the, the side of the field. Uh, you could really see the kids having a great time and the teachers contributing. And it was a great day out for me when I see, came down and seen them and, and seen the kids really active. Also, there were the players supporting it was really great for the kids as well. So I think if it's anywhere near last year, this year, it will be brilliant again. And it's great to have boys and girls all playing rugby at Scotland. 
yeah, yeah, it's great. It's, it's kind of all inclusive. Um, and I think the, you know, I've been here in the girls competition last year, very competitive. And I know there was a, there was a few schools that were, that were going pretty well. So no, it's, it's great all round um, just to have loads of kids involved with rugby, I guess, and, and to tie it in with the, the Glasgow Warriors. And you'll be hoping to get down and support the kids as well? Yeah, most of the guys have uh, go out and do, do bits and pieces. Um, when there's matches on, um, so now it's, it's good to go and encourage guys and um, and see what's going on. Well, I think the more we can get boys and girls realising that sport's good for everybody, and that rugby is an accessible sport for everybody and keeps them fit and active through their life, I think the better. So, from my point of view, seeing boys and girls working together at rugby is a one thing that actually really key for us as a company, because we need boys and girls to be thinking as a career in engineering isn't just for boys, it's for boys and girls and this rugby really is a parallel with that as well. Our next home game is on the Friday 22nd of February against Connacht and you can get tickets for that game now at glasgowarriors.org. Until then, Scotsdam will be home to Scotland women. They play Italy tonight and Ireland next Friday with tickets at scottishrugby.org. Thanks for watching Warriors HQ. There'll be no episode next week, but we'll be back in two weeks' time ahead of our game against Cardiff in the Guinness Pro 14. What's wrong with me? But Nick Gregg is in for the score!